Hello YouTube, this is Keith Kevin Ken. How you doing? How you doing? Man, I hope you're doing well. I really do. It is a Friday. It's not payday, but it's Friday. It is Friday, April 12th, 2019. Friday, April 12th, 2019. Tomorrow, Saturday, I'm doing a trimming. Yeah. We're going to have a lot of knives available, some Spydecos, some uh, automatic knives, Microtex, let's see, some Chris Reeve knives, some Browse Blade knives, um, some new knives too, some new Spydecos and other knives coming your way. So it happens tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe. And even if you subscribe, make sure you go back. And hit that bell, because once that goes off, you'll know I posted the video, then it's first come, first serve. Let's talk about this pocket dump deconstruction for today. Um, this is my Mont Blanc chronograph. You know, a lot of times I get a comment from people going, I know that's a Mont Blanc. What kind of... And I go, I don't know. It just says Mont Blanc on it. Um, you know, it, it, it's like my flask. I love it. I just can't give you more information on it. I bought it in a, the upscale mall in Atlanta about 20 years ago. About 25 years ago. So it's been a long time. Hold on. Oh, man. Trinidad. Ah, it's a Trinidad. I have, I was lucky enough to buy a box when I was in England. Uh, was it a box? I even forget how they were. I have these huge Trinidads, uh, old school. They've been in my human doors for a lot more than a decade and a half. And you can't smoke one of those because you don't have the time, <laughs> but I just did not too long ago, and oh, it's so wonderful. Um, <laughs> but I, I also have a bunch of these. This is a smaller Trinidad. And, oh, I love the Trinidads, the Cuban Trinidads. <sighs> I'm going to spend Friday with that. My Shown Design pen, this is the Thai version. Uh, I have two Mont Blanc skinny wallets that I use on a regular basis. Bought it from the same place I bought that. Single malt scotch um, today because it's Friday. This is a John Kennedy coin from the U.S. Mint. Um, they did several coins. Kennedy... Uh, Roosevelt, Eisenhower, there's one more, and so uh, happy to get these, they were limited, and as I said, I am I call it my slow, my slow row, and I got that like last year, it's my slow collecting of silver coins, a couple of years ago, I did the fast collecting like I do with knives. And that is, uh, I had boxes and boxes full of silver, palladium, and uh, platinum coins. A lot of silver, a lot of gold. And uh, just loved it. And uh, <laughs> all of it, silver, gold, palladium shot through the roof one ounce was fifty dollars of silver one ounce of gold we were up to like fifteen hundred um and so i sold most of it and that's how i started my knife collection i usually do that when i sell a lot of knives from a collection i i usually start another collection um so that's how this started now I still keep, I kept some of the coins I really like, and I collect them a lot. So I'm carrying this. I still love the, the this knife. Um, 
This knife is a special knife from Spyderco. Actually, two of them were released. I own both of them. It's the USN, Usual Suspect Network, Spyderco knife. There's their logo. Usual Suspect Network is a huge um, group of knife collectors. They have an annual um, knife show in Vegas every year. I've never been. I've always wanted to. Um, but uh, they usually do some special kind of knife for them. At least they used to. This is H1 steel, which means it's waterproof. I love this black blade in the H1 steel and this bright green FRN scales on this black hardware. Again, they have another one that's serrated edge, Hawkbill serrated edge. This is the plain edge. It's just wonderful. Still super sharp. 1.9 inch Hawkbill blade, 4.3 inches total, weighs just 1.2 ounces. Of course, very good and strong back lock. Spyderco handles these small knives so well. I mean, here's fat, man, fat Michelin Man hands, and you can really operate this knife in a nice way. There is no clip. Of course, I put it on my silver ring with my three keys, but you can just drop it in your pocket or whatever. Super nice. And rust-proof as well with that H1 steel. I'm going to carry that today with this. I love this knife. You know, this is one of those knives I was thinking about trimming, and I can't let it go. I don't collect a lot of We Knife Company knives, but so far, <laughs> the four that I have, when I start looking to see what I'm going to trim, when my collection starts to get unmanageable, I pick these up and put them back down. I mean, I really like this. I actually have, and maybe I'll offer the other two, the Browse Blades, Elijah. This is Elijah Isham design. I have two other knives. They're bigger. They're more cutouts and complex than this. But he has a real nice, and they're flippers. This one is not. Real nice design feel for design and I think that with we knife companies feel for design I mean that's their logo and they put it on one side of the pivot and look at that blade they just keep it clean this is bowler 390 uh, m390 steel bowler m390 steel and I know that because I can't even pick it up with the king there we go that says it's M390. So you have it there, but they keep it off the blade. They have the Isham um, design. It's just really, everything is beautiful about this. This is the uh, Pleroma, the Isham Pleroma, which you see right there with the Isham logo. It's wonderful. It has the two studs. It has the cutouts, both on the uh, handle and on the blade to save on weight. But man, they don't, look at those lugs. Two big lugs, spiral designs. I mean, every detail to this, they take their time with the details. I actually open it up not using the studs. You can, it's easy to do, see? I usually use the cutout since I'm an old Spyderco guy. But either way you open, it's nice. The detent is excellent. And look at the scales, the handle. <laughs> because it's really nice carbon fiber and titanium. They iodized the titanium titanium into this champagne color along with the titanium clip 
that that mirrors the shape of the handle. Beautiful knife. Only right hand tip up. Only right hand tip up. The clip is great. It is a liner lock. Easy to access the liner lock. Let's see, do they have steel? Yeah. They have a steel insert on the liner lock to prevent wearing down this part of the locking part of it. So just a wonderful knife. Warren Cliff blade, 2.9 inches total. 6.9 inches it weighs 2.6 ounces it's a smaller knife i'm used to the isham knives being larger this is the first one that i've owned that are smaller it's the first one i've owned that wasn't a flipper as well he also has a larger one with we knife company he does work with a lot of different companies paloma from we knife company elijah Isham is the designer, the creator of it. He's a very nice knife maker. I, um, this I had promised to someone a while ago, and I'm just, uh, believe it or not, I was out of town the past couple of days, and I had recorded some videos for you guys. I didn't want to leave you guys. I do that way too much when I'm out of town. But I got back in yesterday. I had promised to send this away and hadn't. So this is already gone. So I wanted to show it off. This knife is the knife that didn't make the EDC because it's going to be packed away when I'm done with this. And I'm going to drop it off in the mail when I get to work. So I wanted to make a record for me and I want you guys to get a good look at it. It's not part of the trimming because I had long ago promised this. This is the Spydeco Shabara. I have not the original, uh, and this is a Sprint Run, Spydeco Sprint Run Shabara. It's taken out of one of the Ethnic Series knives. I have not the first edition, but the second edition that is has carbon fiber. One of the early, from the originals. But they brought it back. I was so happy to see it again. Of course, a Spydeco Sprint Run means it's a limited edition knife. Usually around 1,200, give or take a couple of hundreds either side. Hard to find. And after they're gone, you can only get them in the secondary market. Just a very creative knife. It was taken off of what what they do with Ethnic Series is they get these wonderful knife makers, usually the older gang that hang with uh, Spartaco, well-known knife makers, and they study up on a knife from a region around the world. In this case, this was from the Jordan River Valley. Sorry about that. And way back when, it was a traditional fixed blade knife that helped do everything, right? Tactical, help in the fields, do whatever you needed. And then the object of the Spydeco Ethnic Series is then to take these traditional knives, historical knives, and make them into folding knives using modern materials. In this case, it's VG10 steel and gray G10 for the handle. Stainless steel liners, it is a liner lock. This blade, ah, oh, that shape is something. It is a good tactical blade. Clip point blade, uh, 3.9 inches, 3.7, inches is that long edge the total length is 8.7 inches so it's a larger knife when you look at that 
but man, I like how it packs into this unique body. You see that? Some people call it an hourglass body. Just really a nice piece. I love mine that I have, and I'm not trimming that. It's carbon fiber. But this, and this one is gone. And this, of course, is a sprint run. This is the last time I'm going to get a chance to play with it. So it's the knife that didn't make the EDC, but a knife I want to show you guys for the last time and for me to handle for the last time. There you have it. That's the pocket dump deconstruction for this Friday. Hope to see most of you tomorrow, Saturday, April 13th, 2019, where I do my trimming. It's only for you guys. It's only for you guys. Not on Instagram, not anywhere else. It's only for you guys. Uh, I usually have to do a lot of work, so it's closer to um the evening hours on the east coast and then i try to stay up as much as i can all night to deal with everyone on the west coast etc it's a weekend sale so by sunday i pretty much shut it down no matter what but i really appreciate all of you guys hope you have a perfect day no matter when you're watching this good luck with the sale tomorrow, if, if you can participate, I appreciate you all. Keep those pockets full. Goodbye.